welcome to Let Zoe Spoil You. I'm back after disappearing down the giant hole that is a Mass Effect obsession. I did say I'd started playing the games and now I've completed all four of the Mass Effect games. Um, Andromeda is a bit of a different beast so I'll leave that to a bit later but I completed the Mass Effect trilogy with my male shepherd and oh my god did I love it. Like for years people have been telling me I'd like it and for years I've been going no I don't like games of shooting in them. I don't it's it's just not my kind of thing. I like my, you know, exploration. I like my RPG. I'm obsessed with Dragon Age. That is the greatest game ever. And people keep going, it's by the same people that did Dragon Age. You will love it. It's Dragon Age in space. And I'm like, no, you have to use a gun. And I just didn't, wasn't interested in the slightest. And then the trailers for Andromeda came out and it looked really pretty. And I was like, oh, that looks like Star Trek. And there was a lot of... We've been telling you this for years, it's like Dragon Age in space meets Star Trek. So I thought, I'm going to play, like, the whole of the Mass Effect trilogy. And I loved it. But, oh my goodness, was I bad at it. I had to turn my difficulty down so many times because, A, the first game had the driving of the Mako. I'm hopeless. Driving up sides, landing on my back. There was one beautiful moment in which I drove into a turret, fell over, and then just lay there being slowly shot to death by the enemy turret. And I'm like, I am awful at this. I was awful at the codes, I was awful at aiming. The first game I discovered that if I just powered myself up really, really well, I could just run up to enemies with a shotgun and shoot them. And so that's all I did. The entire game was just me running really close to people and setting off shotguns. And the second game, I discovered how to use biotics, and I spent the entire game using the shockwave thing. And all you could hear from my entire playthrough was like, wom 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 wom, wom 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 wom. Wom, 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 wom. And by the third game, I'd finally sussed how to shoot and use biotics. So the actual mechanics of the game, terrible. I couldn't drive, I couldn't aim, I was just, it was just awful. But the plot was brilliant. Um, I love the characters. I was totally in love with Garius and Tali. I was like, oh my goodness. My, my own personal heart was just like, I love these guys, I love them. And I love Rex as well. And those guys were pretty much in my party continuously. But as of Dragon Age, I play all my games male and I play all my games gay. So my poor shepherd had to last a very long time before I even let him romance anyone because from the moment I saw Caden I was like we are gonna bang. I was in love with Caden and you can't romance him to the third game and it took a long time to get there and by the third game I was so paranoid that I hadn't done enough to romance him I actually started the game and replayed 10 hours because I'd forgotten to give him a bottle of whiskey in the hospital as a present and my husband was just like I can't believe you've restarted Mass Effect 3 just so you can give Caden a bottle of whiskey to make sure he definitely definitely falls for you but by this point the actual romance between Shepard and Caden was beautiful. It was like, I mean, they're both like spectres and they're both strong, confident males and Caden becomes far less angsty once he romances him and starts becoming really sarcastic. And during the Citadel DLC, he kept just like, you know, ribbing me. And I was like, Caden, what happened to the guy that used to angst in the corner of my spaceship? Now you're taking the bits out of me for something I'm doing. And it was brilliant. Plus the DLC for Mass Effect 3 is wonderful. The Citadel stuff, I could replay, in fact I do. I've got a save just before the party scene and I try every single combination of options for that party just so I can see how they all hang out. With any of these games, I barely pay attention to the main plot until the end. I went around, depleted all the planets of their resources, pimped everything out, did every side mission possible, and then I played the main storyline. And I absolutely loved it. I'm totally obsessed with Mass Effect now. I've bought t-shirts, art books, pop figures. At the moment, I'm trying to get some customised pops of my um, Shepard and Caden so I can have them on a shelf, and some of the weapons. I'm a bit obsessed with the shotguns in the game. Um, I would play them all again. I went full Paragon. I want to go and do a total Renegade playthrough, especially at the ending, since there's like four different ways it could end, which means I have to play the game at least three more times. Plus, I need to do some straight games so I can bang Garius and also bang Tali, and maybe a lesbian playthrough so I can like bang the uh, Taylor from the third game from the ship. I absolutely loved her. It oh yeah, brilliant time. And then I started Andromeda. Andromeda isn't as good as the original Mass Effect trilogy. It's easy to see that. But I started it once the patch came out. So I had none of the weird, like, eye-boggly stuff that people complained about. I didn't get the socially awkward, like, 
glitch where people stop talking to you and Jao had been patched as bi so I was like oh yes so I on my third playthrough of it which is epically long because like Inquisition there's a million things to do in Andromeda but I've now romanced Jao and Gil and Reyes got three separate games going on I absolutely adore all the pissing about in the universe. I deplete planets, I go find architects, I'm finding bodies and comms and notepads. My goodness knows how many hours I'm going to rack up playing this game. But I've loved it. I've absolutely adored it and I've definitely decided that I'm going to just spend the rest of my time playing Mass Effect, then going back to Dragon Age, playing all of Dragon Age again, then all of Mass Effect again, then going back and just seeing how many times I can go through these games and what I can do differently because I love all the options, they're brilliant. Um, and that's pretty much what I've devoted the last couple of months to. It's quite good because I've had a back injury, so I can pretty much do is lie down, some days sit up, some days stand up. This is a rare day that I get to fully functioning standing. And it's Mass Effect that's been keeping me going for all of this. Um, I'm now desperate to do a PB cosplay because she's awesome. And I didn't like the Asari to begin with. I was more of a Turian girl. And I really, really also like people like Rex and I like Drac in the new one. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I've got a thing for Krogans. But yeah, they're just brilliant space adventures. You can turn the difficulty down so I don't have to worry about aiming at anything. And the plots are good. It's Star Trek in space with fully customised Ryder, who my Ryder is so beautiful with his long hair and his pink lipstick and pretty much game through the universe. I love it. Absolutely brilliant. Highly recommend them. They're great fun. And now all I want to do is start them all again from the beginning and see how many cosplays I can come up with. That's it for me and my Mass Effect rambling. I hope to see you again soon. Also, you can check me out on the Let's A Spoil You Tumblr and Twitter account. But for now, bye.